the Joe Rogan experience. But I do love that, you know, that's why I travel to amazing stories, isn't it? People living in so many different ways, big, beautiful world, lots to see, lots to do. And that's why, you know, a lot, so with Madagascar, I partnered up with the Lima Network Conservation. So they've got 60 organisations on the ground helping to protect and preserve the unique biodiversity. So with these expeditions, it's almost the, the record is like the enticement, the motivation. But if, but if I can do something worthwhile and highlight certain issues. So with um, Mongolia, I was actually raising awareness about climate change and the effects that that has on the nomadic way of life. It gets so cold out there now that the livestock struggle to survive, which means that um, the nomads are out of work. So they move to the capital city, Ulaanbaatar, to find work. But there's now a, like a Gur district or a Yurt district, you know, they're white felt tents are surrounding the capital city. And it gets free. It's one of the coldest capital cities in the world. It gets cold. They burn what they can. A lot of it is dirty coal because the clean coal gets sent to China and plastics. So there's now a smog that covers the, um, the capital city. It's oh. a difficult place to live in the winter only. And it, babies are lasting three, four days after birth before they're suffocating. Oh, my God. Just from the burning plastic? and Yeah, just difficult to breathe. And the oh. doctor just says, evacuate the city, get yourself out. So I was just trying my best to raise funds for the Red Cross, raise awareness of actually Mongolia you don't hear. Go to that picture again. Make that it. picture larger, Jamie. Look how crazy that way of life is. Yeah. There's all these tents everywhere. In the background, you see it looks like some mm -hmm. wall tents, but maybe some hard structures. It looks like there's a few hard roofs there. Yeah, yeah. There'll be different huts. They'll just but be most of them are just tents. Yeah. There's one building back there, a multi-story building. Scroll back, go that, go so back. So this to the, is there. See that one? Yeah. That so looks this like is a multi-story building. Capital Ulaanbaatar. So you have <sighs> lot even even in the center. You know, it's pretty. Pretty nicely developed, isn't it? But it's crazy, Capital. right? All dirt roads. And what do they do yeah. with sanitation and sewage? Pfft. Yeah, again. Um, I don't like hearing that noise. Yeah, it says, the, though they lack access to drinking water, proper sewage, yeah, or go. internal heating, yeah. many are reluctant to leave behind the unique millennia-old way of living. Yeah, just shit in yeah. a hole in the ground. Mm. Whatever, whatever. Forever. Yeah, oh. so it's... Imagine not go, wanting to it, leave that... Big. Imagine being like so. This these is were the way it, to go. Yeah, these were all out in in the wilderness, and the Mongolian wilderness is absolutely stunning. But they've been forced, pretty much, to to move here. So, in the encampments, stop that, please. Right. Go back up and make that larger again. What is that uh, background city? What is that? It's that's Lombard the Lombard. outside. Yeah, that's the capital city of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar. Wow. So, and so all, all that stuff on the outside is, is how most of the people like a live. District. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you can it drops to like minus what well, minus forty Fahrenheit. Fucking a man. And so they just need to stay alive. So they burn whatever they can they can find to stay warm. Jesus. So there's always you know always environmental at, at my heart first and foremost. Especially seeing the world, you see it in its rarity. You know you're out in Madagascar trekking its wilderness, and eighty percent of all plant life and wildlife found in Madagascar alone is found nowhere else in the world. Really? You're literally walking past stuff on a daily basis, thinking you're not found anywhere else. Only, only native to, to Madagascar. With giant comet moths, this big, bright yellow, to lemurs, over a hundred different species. So I, I do my best to try to meet up with as many organisations as I possibly could, who are helping to protect and expand national parks, who are helping to educate the locals, supply different means of work, uh, protect the species living within, and highlight, like the press, we're interested in the journey. But I would direct and highlight, you know, the, the real unsung heroes, I call them, the people volunteering, doing this day in, day out. And I often there's just a lot of, you switch on the TV and it's just all negative, isn't it? But I believe positivity spreads more positivity. So um, highlight these issues, all of the amazing workers doing their utmost to protect the environment. Um, and yeah, that makes you want to do more as well, doesn't it, you know? Yeah. Well, it, it seems like it's got to change your just your frame of reference shifts mm. you've seen so many things that most people haven't seen just haven't been to that place and knowing that there's massive groups of people that are living like that that are burning plastic in the winter time to try to stay alive yeah it just shifts how you view things that's it for sure yeah and you you know once you've seen it you can't unsee it right it's one right. of those where you just want to try that's, to keep helping where you can that's how many people are living like that oh right so there's four million people uh, in mongolia but probably about 3 million are in the capital city. Uh, probably half of that are Gur districts, nomads. Wow. Almost half, maybe. So more than a million people in tents. Potentially. It's getting that way anyway. Yeah. Fuck. 
and the air quality just again so poor can you imagine that just giving birth the doctors over get get out the city wow otherwise you know, there's a high chance that you're you're going to lose your child and and the people that do stay the, the older people that must be taking years off their life yeah most likely and then in the summer so i didn't experience it in the winter but in the summer you still got the gear district but it's warm so you can't see the sky 